The Liberal incumbent here is Wendy Tuckerman. She was elected at the last election. She is now trying to retain the seat and she joins me now here in Goulburn. If you look at the history of this seat, you'd wonder why it's in play. How confident are you that you'll be able to hold off a Labor challenge here today? Look, I've been pretty confident with what's happening on the ground, uh, people speaking to me. Um, yeah, I guess it's in the hands of the voters now and obviously with um, the government being in for the last three terms, you know, that obviously is a challenge for the next term. But uh, I've been confident, I've been, uh, you know, approached by people uh, thanking me for the work that's been done. I've worked very hard the last four years. We've had many challenges in the Goulburn electorate uh, since 2019, bushfires, floods, COVID and a number of planning issues that uh, have been a challenge. One of the uh, issues that's come up a number of times today when I've been speaking to people is uh, nurse-to-patient ratios in hospitals, hospital funding. That's traditionally considered to be a Labor strength. How is how are you able to combat that argument when it comes up on the well, we've given uh, record number numbers in, in uh, health funding. Uh, we've uh, built lots of in infrastructure in the in the communities, both Crookwell, Yass, and Goulburn. Uh, certainly, we want to make sure, and that's what I advocate all the time, to ensure that we've got the services available for the people and the needs and the wants. So uh, that will be certainly my focus in the next term, if I'm if I'm uh, honoured to get there. Uh, but uh, you know, we, we've been doing quite considerable amounts in the health. You know, we 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 land with uh, an infrastructure backlog so I think people are pretty pleased with uh, the hospital uh, redevelopments in the electorate but certainly we've got to make sure we've got the nurses on the ground and that's been a challenge right across the state. One of the interesting factors today you ask a lot of people would they have voted Liberal if Gladys Berejiklian had still been Premier and a lot of people say that may have changed their vote. Do you think Dominic Perrottet is a net positive for you down here in the regions or is it, is it a not a factor? Look, I think uh, Dominic's coming into his into his own. He has really hit the ground, and I know that he's been here on a number of occasions. And people have really commented on what a likable guy Dom is. I know that Dom is very visionary. I'd like to see him have a term at Premier again because I know that he will achieve great things for the state of New South Wales. Perfect. Thanks so much for your time, Wendy. We'll let you get back to it. Ash, is the rain? It's a contributing factor this afternoon. Just comes down right as we finish.